Hey guys, what is up? This is going to be a contest entry for Big Moon Yos 11 and Dolly VH's contest. Uh, they're having a contest right now. Um, the rules are, you say your biggest problem in your tank and what can fix it. Like, what exactly can fix it and stuff like that, because, you know, not everybody has a perfect tank. Um, but yeah, go check them out into their contest. They want a lot of entries, and it'd be nice for them to get a lot of entries, guys. So, yeah. Um... Well, I'm gonna get into what my problems are anyway. This is my five gallon, as you can see. Um, if you guys know, and my subscribers, um, this is my shrimp tank and my beta tank. And recently, I've seen a like the sprout of hydra. If you don't know what that is, that's a little microorganism type thing. It's related to like corals and stuff like that of salt water, but it's fresh water, and um, and it eats your shrimp baby shrimp if it can get a hold of it and I really don't want my shrimp to die guys I've had these shrimp for a little while anyway and they're breeding and I'm liking it um, if you can you can actually see one of them right there it's swinging in the wind on the leaf right there not in the wind but in the current right there um, there's sprouting up everywhere guys like there's one right there um, hold up let me sit up sorry guys sorry for the shakiness ah! okay um, let's see if you can see another one um, it's right, right there. Wait, let me see if I can get a close up. It's right on top of that rock. Um, if you guys can see it. But yeah, guys, they'll eat your baby shrimp. There's one right on the glass. Let's see if I can get in the camera. Right there. It's gonna focus in on the plant, not the hydra. But yeah, guys, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry if it's a little fuzzy. Um, but yeah, guys, they they eat shrimp and other microorganisms in your tank, and I really don't want my shrimp to die, and they're breeding, and they're happy, so I want them to stay happy. My beta doesn't eat him. He does this. He looks at him, and that's it. <laughs> He's stupid, but whatever. Um, but the things that I need to cure this tank and get rid of the hydra is I need to get a good heater, like a adjustable heater, because the to wait... To get rid of them anyway, um, you need to take out all your living organisms in your tank and pretty much just boil the crap out of the hydra. Um, not literally boil your water, but take the heat up a lot to where uh, it pretty much kills it. So I need a good heater, an adjustable one, so I can take this temperature up to at least 100 degrees. Um, a good adjustable heater because I don't have any extras just laying around. Um, I also need, will need a, another, like, holding container or something so I can put all the shrimp and beta in. Probably just get, like, a 5 gallon or 2.5 or something just because it doesn't take very long. It's just something that I need to boil it out of. It takes, takes getting the temperature up and boiling the hydra. That's the longest part. Um, let's see. Can you guys see all of them up here? Yeah, there's, there's a bunch, right? there and right there but yeah guys um need a good adjustable heater a good container for them so i can keep them in there probably just a 2.5 gallon fish tank because i don't know maybe one day i might turn it into another fish tank um that might good, look good in the future um but yeah i use the money that they're gonna give out uh for first place i forgot to mention this for first place it's 70 dollars and for second i believe it's 30 don't quote me on that, but I think it's 30. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a big problem, guys. People in the fish tank hobby, you guys might have had it or are going to get it sometime. Um, you get it when you get new plants. Um, they like to attach themselves to plants, as you guys can see. Um, and I just, I, I really don't want my shrimp to die. And the only way to really cure it is pretty much kill the organism. So, a good adjustable heater will do me good. And... Uh, a container or some kind of like little fish tank that I can buy so I can put all the shrimp and stuff like it's going to be a hassle but you know I'll, I want to keep my shrimp alive because they're like I, I like them a lot they're probably my favorites one of my favorites all my fish but yeah guys um, that would tremendously help me out go check them out in their contest um, Dolly VH and Big Munoz 11 um, go check their contest out it's up right now and yeah guys, this is my entry and adios.